yes this is a part two I personally told myself I was gonna wait like maybe six months or maybe until wait until the time that I got hired at Forever 21 to make a part two to this video to warn everybody you know about that place but um I recently you know was checking my analytics and I was confused because like I haven't posted in like a long time and I'm like how in the hell am I still getting views I ain't posted anything and then I saw um my Forever 21 video and I was just like Ooh. oh apparently a lot of people like that video and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and just make this part two because your girl has a hell of a lot to say now y'all probably thinking Sarah you just being petty you just being bitter what do I gotta be bitter for okay I'm the one that quit I ain't gotta be bitter for nothing okay oh you probably just milking these videos for views I mean that last one may be true but like honestly everything I gotta say is just so true and like my experience at this store like when I made my part one to of this when I made my part one I literally was saying everything off of the top of my head because I was so heated and that was everything that was still fresh on my mind but this time around I actually sat down and I made a list of things and she kind of long she long so there may may be another part to this video okay I only originally wanted two parts and I'm gonna make one more video of secrets that forever 21 employees don't want you to know about well uh there may be two another another part to this so maybe three parts so let me just stop talking and let me just get onto the actual video. So one thing about the Forever 21 I worked at, like I said in my other video, we had like tons of um, managers. We had like eight managers, I think, but that's not even including the um, backstock manager and the stylist manager or visual merchandise whoever she was that's not even including them i'm talking about the managers that we had to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis with that being said the managers didn't like working there either a lot of them quit like when i first worked there my favorite manager i'm not gonna say his name but i really liked him some other people didn't like him i don't know why but i really liked him and um Okay, most of us liked him, to be honest, but there's some of them that's like, he's kind of annoying. I'm like, he's great. He left, I think, like, a month or two of me working there. And I was like, oh, no, why he go? I really liked him. Like, oh, my goodness and stuff. Like, I was kind of upset because I really liked him. He was really cool. Um, and then over the course of months and stuff like that, there would be managers that were just quitting or they quit because they were almost about to be fired. Let me tell you something real quick that almost nobody knows about this, but if you are a manager at a store or I guess a part of a franchise or whatever, and if you get fired from a manager's position, you cannot go to any other store and apply as a manager because you got fired from that position okay so pay pay attention to that pay attention to that my first manager okay so she quit i'll tell you why but my first manager she seemed like really cool when i went to my interview it was a group interview which was literally me my friend and this one other girl when we went to the group interview she seemed real cool and everything blah 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 you know think it was gonna be you know a great time or whatever so when we finally started working there she she seemed cool but she was like that fake cool you know you could tell like in their voice like wow you're fake why are you so fake like why are you so fake you could tell because like I know for sure when it was closing oh my goodness I did not like closing with her because obviously when you're a sales associate after you're done closing you have to put away all the clothes fold the clothes blah blah blah, blah whatever rooms blah 
and like she would be counting the money and stuff like that and she and there was also another manager that did this but the other manager she actually tried to help um but whenever she would you know like count the money or like she would just be walking by she'd be like come on guys you can do it i believe in you okay but are you gonna help us and she would say like okay guys it's almost 11 o'clock we need to hurry up and be out of the store by 11 15 but you're not helping us like what really made me mad one time is i was in the active area and at that time like it's um if I mentioned in the uh, other video, which I believe I did, um, the Forever 21 I worked at had two floors. So um, the active area was on the uh, like outer corners where the elevator would go down. So it was like in that like circle-ish area. So I was in that area. And then I think I was already working there for like over a month or two or whatever and then she's like going down with one manager that I did not like and I still don't to this very day and I don't even work there anymore they were going down the escalator and then she was like come on guys you can do it I believe in you and I almost stu stuck out my head and be like bitch are you gonna help though like are you I guess not she she never really you know like helped us she was always like Picking on people like I'm y'all the managers played favorites like muff I'm crazy I'm so crazy I'm not gonna lie I think there was a couple managers where I was their favorites but um I didn't use that to my advantage the first store manager I think she was she worked there for about a year I'm not sure but there's one manager <sighs> apparently she's been working with the company for eight years she um moved she not moved but that forever 21 wasn't there like i mean when i moved here and that was like six years ago forever 21 was there but like at first it wasn't it was another store i don't know what it was and forever 21 was at a different location she worked at forever 21 at that other location and then she moved with the store so she's been working there for over eight years now i'm just like damn that's dedication i don't see how you could do it but that's dedication and like i said this store manager she worked there for um about a year oh and my favorite manager that that left apparently he only had the manager position for six months because he was a sales associate there but then he got promoted as a manager and then he left and i'm gonna tell you right now the current managers because i have some of them on facebook as a friend because they was cool what up i think one of them she quit um but i think it was because i don't know i know she did not like that job i know she didn't and i know she was happy that she got promoted but uh i think it's because she was pregnant I mean she's still pregnant but I mean congratulations girl. but she left so you know whatever back to this first manager so she like I said she would play favorites and she got on a lot of people's nerves she said like some real bad things to people I don't remember what they were but she never came up to me and said anything like honestly most managers didn't say anything to me because I think because the way I look I don't know maybe because of the way I look just people just don't come up to me and say anything I guess because I look a very intimidating I mean if you really know me I'm a big old cry baby but <laughs> but I like low-key use my looks to my advantage you know like low-key the one time I actually liked the first store manager the only one time is when we actually there was a customer and she stole something and the manager she actually ran out of the store to go get the lady she didn't catch her I think but it was still like kind of funny like she was kind of G like she actually ran out to you know uh try to catch her but she didn't catch her that was like the only time so one day mysteriously actually no it's been like a couple of days she didn't come to work I was just wondering where she was because you would see her like most of the time obviously she's the store manager and I'm just like oh where is I'm not gonna say her name but we'll just call her Mademoiselle. So, you know, I was just asking around, like, where's Mademoiselle? Like, I haven't seen her in, like, a while. And people were saying, like, oh, she quit. I'm like, she quit? Why did, why did she quit? Like, what happened? Like, oh, my goodness. I was going to ask a manager. I'm like, nah, because they're not going to tell me what happened. So, 
yo like people are so catty at forever 21 they don't keep their mouth shut for like anything one of my co-workers she said that she was going into the back in backstock to look for something for a customer and then she heard the um backstock manager at the time he also quit i'm gonna tell you why too and the um stylist manager she heard them talking about mademoiselle so like she's looking for what she's looking for for the customer but she taking her sweet time listening apparently the um district man the district manager obviously wasn't like happy with our performance because honestly there's a point in time in the year where forever 21 sales go down i bet y'all are shocked because people are always throwing their money but yo they be having very real unrealistic goals for forever 21 trust me and we be barely making our numbers barely making numbers apparently i guess the district manager was like very like not happy with our numbers and stuff and also like people were like reporting about mademoiselle and stuff and i think there was one incident where they were saying like people were looking for her and she was literally just in the office just like doing her nails or whatever she wasn't really doing her job and apparently she was going to get fired and somehow she knew that she was going to get fired so she quit like oh okay and then that's when i found out about the whole like if you're a manager you get fired fired thing you can't apply to be a manager anywhere else apparently mademoiselle had a reputation for store hopping she would be a manager at so many different stores i don't even remember all the stores that they said but there were so many different stores where she was a manager and she quit and she quit because she always heard that she was gonna get fired i'm like oh okay apparently when i last heard where she was like apparently she's now a stewardess or something like that so, I mean, whatever. Hopefully, she's not, like, running the plane down. And speaking of management, I'm going to tell you how petty management was. Because I had a problem. Oh, wait. Let me tell you about what happened to the backstop manager. Uh, I don't remember if he was fired or he quit. But, no, I think he got fired because he would come to work drunk. And some sales associate would actually see him on the bus, like, really drunk and he would have like a flask and he would be drinking it on the way to work like oh but like i did see him at h&m one time and i'm like oh snap he works here because he was working at h&m i'm like oh he works here but i think he was a sales associate because he was on the floor and usually if you're a stock manager you are like never on the floor like you're never on the floor okay back to really petty management at forever 21 obviously the stores are usually open from like 10 or whatever and close at like nine on weekdays um at i know for sure in my forever 21 it like open at 10 closed at nine on weekdays closed at 10 on week on no 10 on sundays no 10 on saturdays and eight on sundays now we hated it kind of when we had to work on a sunday not because it was sunday and we were getting like less hours okay technically yes but um it was because almost everybody was getting that stupid ass four hour shift on sundays <sighs> guys four hour shifts at forever 21 suck you would think oh it's a lot better because it's literally just four hours um you're getting paid for the entire time you're there because when you do less than think four hours and 30 minutes or four hours and 45 minutes or something like that you don't get a lunch so you only get a 10 so you think okay that would make the time go by faster because um you know you're not gonna be there you're only there for four hours and i mean you're getting paid for the entire time so but no yo for some reason a four hour shift felt like an eight hour shift and eight hour shifts aren't even bad effort in between one because you get two 10 minute breaks and you get your lunch and which was always only 30 minutes guys i'm telling you that right now it was always only 30 minutes because i guess technically a forever 21 we're not allowed to work eight hours so we were, when we were scheduled for eight hours and we take our 30 minutes um then that technically means we only worked for seven hours and 30 minutes not a full eight hours so that sucked but on Sundays like I say you only get 110 and that's it so 
whenever you get that shift it's literally always from 12 to 4. Yes it would be like you know people work in the morning shift like maybe two to four people work in the morning shift and then they have like a whole bunch of closers that they come in at four and you know they do their thing you know great awesome. So I was working a Sunday shift four hour shift one day I was not feeling good at all like I did not get sleep the night before I probably only got like two three hours because of something I don't remember what it was and then I was like actually physically just like sick and I didn't have time to like actually get ready so I didn't eat so I'm like physically exhausted uh my body actually feels like I'm break it's breaking down I'm hungry I didn't eat so and with me when I don't eat like my body shakes like crazy which I think that happens to a lot of people but I've noticed that a lot with me my body shake well, I'm just trying to like get through like I'm trying my hardest to get through this shift I'm trying my hardest like luckily they put me kind of in a back area where people really weren't like you know there they don't shop there too much but when they do yo they came in packs oh they came in packs yo and I'm just like oh my goodness I can't deal with this and usually I'm not gonna lie um forever 21 employees on Sundays if you was working in a quad with someone and like you know basically everybody is cool with each other we'd be like you know just tell me whenever you want to take your 10 or tell me whenever you want to take your second 10 just let me know so that I could tell them that you want to go run for the fitting room look for a size for someone or you went to the bathroom and you could just take another 10 because I don't care because sometimes the managers don't look at the cameras um except for the one that has been working there for eight years she looks at the cameras so we have to be very cautious so i knew that she was working that day so what i did i went to the bathroom a lot because like when i was shaking and i'm just like i'm holding on to racks and stuff trying not to like pass out and at one moment i actually felt like i was going to pass out so like i would go to the bathroom and just like chill in there or i would go into back stock just act like i'm looking for something i would just chill in there and then i finally took my 10 my first 10 which should have been my one and only 10 like you know i'm just chilling okay i'm just chilling try not to die i'm drinking water to make myself feel better because it helped a little bit and then at some point i i i can't like i just couldn't do it I couldn't do it I was like I'm gonna take another 10 because I just I don't feel good like there are some points where I feel like I'm just going to cry and stuff like that and I'm like okay you only have maybe maybe like an hour left like I'm not even sure because usually we would try to take our 10s like right at the halfway point we would try but obviously since there was like other people we kind of we did our best okay we did our best I took my next 10 and then I leave and then maybe about 10 minutes later a manager comes up to me and she was like hey Sarah could I can you come with me to the office and I was like yeah and I'm just like okay and I'm thinking like okay what customer complained about me now I don't know why customers complain about me when I was like one of the nicest people I go above and beyond for customers even in the fitting room you know we gonna talk about that later this is why this is probably going to be another part to this because there's so much stuff I have to tell y'all I go into the office and there is a manager that's been working there for eight years and then she was like um I noticed that you took two tens I know why there's a video of me what you know you're not supposed to be uh taking two tags and stuff like that and blah 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 and I was telling her you know like how I don't feel good and all this other stuff and like I'm at this point I'm literally just like about to cry because like yo like you don't understand like I don't feel good like at all and stuff and she starts to say well I can't have you on the floor and you have like an attitude to customers and blah 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 I'm thinking attitude like girl I'm like sick and honestly I'm trying to avoid customers as much as possible and if they are asking a lot of me then I kindly just tell them that I can't help you I can't help you but I could find someone that can it happened multiple times even one time when I hurt my back um, you know customers would be like you know it's okay I'll just go look for someone else you know whatever and she was like I think it's just best for you to go home and I'm just like I told her like there's a bike an hour left I should be 
fine like I'll be okay and so I was like no you should really go home because I don't want you to round these customers with you know an attitude and you can help them and blah 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 and she also had that fakeness in her voice about it she had that fakeness literally 24 7 it was fake trust me and and at this point I'm like I'm crying okay I'm not gonna lie I'm crying because I'm like I don't want to go home but it's not like I'm crying like oh my God. no I'm just like crying because I'm not feeling good and I'm just mad at the same time like are you serious girl there's only like an hour left like for one you telling me how I went to take a 10 but you didn't even like notice that I went to the bathroom like 50 times okay cool whatever I should have just kept doing that and then she was like you know it's just better for you to go home and whatever and I was like fine yeah I'll go home she's like okay so like I go to the break room and then people like ask me oh Sarah you're going home I'm like yeah I'm going home and then I noticed that one of the other managers she actually goes and she sits down in the break room the one manager that did call me down um she called me downstairs and I know why she came in there because I bet that other manager told her to go in there to make sure that I didn't like say anything or do anything or whatever i was like yeah i'm going home i don't feel good like yeah she told me to go home so i'm just gonna go home whatever blah 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 and then at the same time the other manager the one that called the one i was talking to there was another employee she didn't feel good either and then she was like she was being a bitch to me but she was being so nice to her she was like are you okay like, do you need anything and the girl's like no i'm fine blah 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 she's like if you need anything then just let me know blah 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 she was like you know what i think i need to go home she's like okay yeah go home i'm thinking like are you f what the you know so I don't go home okay I don't go home because I didn't tell my mom because she was the one picking me up I already told her what time to pick me up so I was like I'm not gonna call her and tell her what happened so I just you know leave the store I cry for a bit and then I call my friend and I tell her like you know I need to talk to you I call her but she didn't pick up so I text her and I told her what happened it's like y'all really need to talk to you I'm like fed up with these people blah 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 and stuff and then I go to the food court to go eat and then um I also texted her boyfriend because I mean I kind of knew that they were together at that moment I think I don't know I guess so I'm like hey yo can you just tell her to like message me back or call me back because this is very important and stuff like that so then like she calls me she asks me where am I at and I'm like I'm up at the food court and so she's like okay wait there we're on our way and I'm thinking like we who the fuck is we so her and her boyfriend come and then like me and her and her boyfriend were like walking and we sit down and then like I just ball I'm like crying I'm like bawling my shit I'm bawling my eyes out because of what happened and then there was like a whole bunch of other stuff going on personally and it, it all like came crashing down all at once so I'm just bawling and crying and just saying what happened and she's like that's fucked up and then she's also complaining about the stuff that you know stuff that's been happening to her at the same time because they fucking us both over they fucking everyone over stuff like that and I'm just like this is some bullshit and then she was like honestly this job is not worth it they got people out here crying and it wasn't only me but it was her and there was other people who have cried at that job like literally forever 21 is not fucking worth it it's not even that serious for people to be fucking crying but bitch it don't be it it really be like that though because they really petty like that like trust me they are boy oh boy that was just the tip of the iceberg with me and that manager because after that incident like she here's the worst thing usually the managers they would switch off from time to time of whoever makes the schedule we all knew that she was the main one to always make the schedule like all ways and so like usually you know if you're doing good would you get at least three days out of the week at least and at most you would get like five six days at most but if you got at least three hours not three hours if you at, got at least three days a week you was doing good um so i was getting like three four days a week scheduling whatever and um after that incident she decides to schedule me for one day for one day and then she just <laughs> at one of the touch bases she decides to make a comment and say that um 
you know we know that like a lot of people are not really getting hours and the people who are getting like one day a week were thinking about letting go blah 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 and like one of my co-workers me and him, we were like really good friends and he was noticed that I was getting like one day so he kind of like looked at me and I looked at him and was like I really don't give a fuck honestly like I don't care like they not gonna fire me and plus she tried it boo she tried it okay she was sketching me for one day but your girl was picking up shifts left and right like boo you was not about to mess up with my coins like that you're not about to mess with my coins like that like you think you fucking you, you mm-hmm okay but like I said that was that was the tip oh that was the tip so I'm picking shifts or whatever there was one night I picked a shift and it was a closing shift and one of the uh, employees that I picked up shifts with she always got place in one room that was just the worst to close I hated it so much because I didn't even know the room like that like it just sucks closing it everybody and a mama shopping in that room in particular especially at that time or whatever and um, so she decides to put me in that room by myself because sometimes there will be like two people most of the time it's two people I was in there by myself I was like okay okay that night I mastered that room I had that ish clean so good. I was like the second, the second person done in their room. And that room was like one of the biggest rooms out of the whole store. One of them, maybe like the third biggest or like, I don't know. But I had it done. I was like one of the first people done. I was like the second person done. I was proud of myself. Everything was nice and clean. My rack was empty and everything. And then, um, she comes miss eight years comes and she is like oh are you done in your room and i say yeah i'm done and she's like okay i'm gonna go ahead and check it and i'm thinking check it because there's like sometimes they would check the room but when they check the room they just like okay you could go but no 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 little miss eight years decides that she's gonna go ahead and check every single rack every single table every single fold every single one of them she's like that's not done that's not done that one needs to be reblended da, 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 da. but here's the thing at the same time she didn't even tell me that she brought in another employee and she was telling that employee to fix it what like it's my room if there's a problem with my room, you come and tell me because it's my responsibility. All right. We are grown adults up in here. Yeah. At the time I was like 18, 19. I don't remember how old I was. How old was I? 19. And you like, however, whatever old, I know you married, you got a kid or whatever, but like we as grown adults, you tell me, you don't go ahead and tell another coworker to do it. And she was like, yeah, go ahead and fix this. I'm just like, cause she doesn't even look at me when she's telling, she's not looking at me. She's looking at the other employee. So she's fixing the stuff and I'm fixing it with her and stuff like that. And like, she's being so picky about everything. Cause then she keeps coming back and she's like, mm, this though, this needs to be refixed or something like that. And, um, whatever, like, and then my other, uh, my coworker, she's getting stressed out by this. like why are you stressing her out if you like have a problem with me and then one of my other co-workers she came by because she went to come and help us or whatever and then we all you know talk and powwow and then i tell them both what happened like what happened on that sunday and i'm like because she's doing this to get at me but i don't know why she brought her to this like it was just so annoying and then one of my other co-workers like no you need to go ahead and tell the store manager note this was at the time we had a new store manager and i liked her she was real cool oh yeah i forgot to mention there was like a good few months where we did not have a store manager we didn't like we didn't have an official store manager our store manager was little miss eight years for a time and then we had like an official store manager so my coworker was saying, well, you need to tell the store manager because like these like little managers are getting away with like all kinds of stupid stuff. Like they can't be doing that. I'm like, yeah, I am going to tell her. So then while we're talking, um, my, my back is like facing, um, kind of like, I don't know. My back is turned basically. And the, my, one of my coworkers, she like sees the manager, you know, like coming down and she's like, oh, she's coming. So then we hurry, we like disperse or whatever. So then we're still like fixing the room and stuff like that. And then like, we finally get let go. Usually there's always like two managers that close that night. I'm getting really fed up because I fed up by like the whole thing. Like she really just did that. Like she really made 
someone else she brought someone else into this shit like a child like why why would why would you do that that makes no damn sense once again this girl does not like this manager little miss eight years does not look at me she don't say nothing she's like um checking our bags and stuff because we have to do bag check so she's checking our bags and after she tells it like after she checks each person's bag she's like okay have a good night she comes check my shit she don't even say anything to me so i was like okay so i see the other manager i'm like hey when is the store manager coming again and then she was like oh i don't know and then she asked little miss eight years and she's like oh when is the store manager coming again she's like oh she should be in on thursday i was like okay thank you because what i was going to do and which I did because I'm proud because I was off on a Thursday. I got my happy little ass out of my bed, out of my house, which is an accomplishment because I don't leave the house. And I went to the store and I went and talked to the store manager because when Miss Eight Years wasn't there, I was like, oh, that's shocking. And I told her everything. I told her what happened on that Sunday taking claim of what I did wrong I, I said a million times I know what I did wrong and I told her you know what happened and I said oh why did it like I know I was wrong for taking two tens I already know that that I told her other stuff and I literally used the words childish and petty because she was acting childish and petty like what what is wrong with you woman store manager she was like she listened to everything i said and she was like you know i am gonna have to talk to the other manager i'm like yes of course i know you're gonna have to talk to her she was cool she was like kind of like a mom in a way she was like it's kind of like you know um you guys are the kids and i'm the mom and it's like i have like over 100 kids to worry about and i was like haha yeah so we were just joking around for like a little bit um so she was like yo thank you for coming to tell me but i am gonna have to talk to her and blah 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 so um i don't know if it was like the next day or the next two days i don't remember the next day that i had to work but uh the store manager did come to me and she told me that so i did talk to her and um i do suggest that you two you know sit down and talk um about you know what happened because she did say the same thing that you said about you um you know taking your two tens and I made sure that I said that I was wrong for taking the two tens because I knew her ass was gonna say that I took two tens or trying to make it seem like I did something bad so I made sure that I said it I'm not stupid if I, I'm getting really heated honestly it's hot in here and I'm just getting mad just thinking about all of this again oh my goodness I was like okay so I think that day miss eight years she wasn't there but it was another day and i was like hey can i talk to you in the office because she didn't come and try to come front me she's trying to come and talk to me i was like can i talk to you in the office she's like yeah yeah absolutely so then we go into the office and we talk and i i don't remember i probably said i was sorry for um for taking the two tins or whatever and i think i did use a word childish and petty because i was very upset and angry how she brought in another co-worker to this like if you and i told her if you have a problem with me come to me don't bring anybody else into this like what's wrong with you i didn't say what's wrong with you i didn't okay okay i probably said a little bit nicer than that i did not say what's wrong with you though but because i wasn't trying to get fired and then she decides to bring up the moment like well yeah well i haven't been really giving you uh like i haven't been giving you a lot of days i scheduled you because you know at that moment we were talking to the other two co-workers you were just standing there talking and you know that really like upset me i'm like you don't bitch you hurt you have ran up on other co-workers doing the same shit and you still give them like three four days and then i had to bring up the fact that there was one co-worker yo he got on everyone's nerves because he barely did his job like during work hours like while customers at the store he's literally talking to customers mostly women trying to chat them up you know get their numbers all kinds of other stuff he's always leaving his room and when he leaves his room it's a complete hot mess the racks there would be like a double rack sometimes a triple rack because there's so much clothes are everywhere and then we get told to go into his room and clean it up like where where is he tell him to do this like and then when it comes to close it he takes so long where we have no choice but to go in there where it's like oh my goodness you know what i'm going i'm going in because like if we wait until he finishes we're not gonna leave until like midnight 
<clears throat> so I like basically bring that up like okay well, why don't you ever tell him anything or whatever she was like well because I don't see him whenever he does it but you know I saw you at that moment I'm thinking like you lying ass bitch you oh Oh, <laughs> you are always there when he does it you are always there or one of the other managers is always there when he does stuff like that and I know they pick favors because she was always talking to him too and she barely says anything to him even though we employees complain multiple times about him like he needs to stay in his room like dude just don't help customers you need to stay in your room whatever it was we talked we did whatever and then I told her about the scheduling thing she was like well yeah I mean you kind of have to earn like your hours back and I was like well I can still pick up shifts though she was like yeah you can still pick up shifts yeah that's perfectly fine but you know you're gonna have to earn your hours back blah 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 because your girl was picking up shifts left and right all right boo don't like once again, you was about to rest on my points like that. Unless I wanted to be scheduled for like one day. Like, I'm sick of tired of this place. I'm only going to work one day. Like, I don't even care. But, ugh. Let me tell you another pettiness of management. There's multiple ones. But let me tell you this one. Because I might have to end the video after this one. There's definitely going to be another part. Okay, so my friend. I'm not going to say her name. But I love her so much. What up, girl, if you're watching this. Ever since we started working at Forever 21, she has wanted to be a stylist for that store. Obviously, she wants to be her own fashion stylist, which I hope and pray to God that it happens. Like, damn. Ever since she heard that there was a stylist position, because she's heard it multiple times, we all have, she's always, always wanted to do it. Like, she talked to the stylist manager. She's also talked to the stylist, and the stylist loved her and wanted her, because they were looking for, like, the stylist was looking for an assistant, because I guess her... Uh, first assistant she like had to quit or something I don't I'm not sure so they were looking for another assistant and she like absolutely loved her like when she could she would ask her to you know hey can you help me with you know some stuff or whatever so my friend she's like sometimes styling mannequins and stuff like that which is really cool changing them suck but like styling them is just like you know real cool or whatever the stylist she like really likes her she goes ahead and she talks to the you know stylist manager or whatever and she's like oh, okay you know we'll think about it and I guess they have to like talk to managers about it too whatever basically she never even got like through the multiple times they were looking for people for styling positions she was not once even like mentioned for it because there would be like time after time where they would like have this sign up sheet where it's like we're looking for stylists whoever wants to be a stylist write your name and there'll be people who will like write their names and then they'll do like I guess little interviews or at least talk to the managers about you know this employee whatever blah 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 so this one time I guess she wrote her name um I think there was one I don't know I don't remember I think was there one time where I wrote her name I'm not one no I wanted to but I did it I told her about it and then she's put her name on it um, but there was after the billionth time of her trying to, um, be picked as a stylist, um, this, oh my god, this pisses me off. Um, she heard from someone and that person said that the, the, uh, either the stylist manager or just the managers said that someone told them that my friend was going around bragging about how oh I'm gonna get the job like I deserve to be the stylist I should be the stylist like they better pick me like blah 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 blah, blah. you know just like bragging about it how she deserves it how she knows she gonna get it blah 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 I heard that shit I'm just like I don't know what lie they pulled out of their ass for that like whose ass did you pull that out of how was it your own because who are you talking about I know this girl I've known her for years she is not the girl to be bragging she is not the type of girl to be bragging like that like no 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 if anything she's that girl that was is always saying that she knows she ain't gonna get a job i.e that's me that's also me but that's that's usually her you usually have to tell her like you know calm down don't worry about it so to hear that someone said that about her pissed me off like 
What kind of fucking lie is that? I was so pissed. She was pissed too because why? Why would you lie about that? And I think the stylist even knew like she wouldn't do that. But I do know people who were coming after that same position. Those were the type of people that would say that shit. Those were the type of people. I don't know who said it, but I was I was angry because that that should not have been said about her at all. Okay, so I'm going to have to stop this video here. My camera is dying and I have so much more. Literally, I only talked about it seems like two things. It was three things I talked about. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. Um, if you like this video, please do also comment down below your crazy experiences at any workplace because honestly the response on my last video, well on my last Forever 21 video, wow, y'all guys have been commenting and I enjoy talking to y'all in the comments. Like when YouTubers say that, I be thinking like, okay, yeah, whatever. But no, I literally enjoy talking to y'all in the comments. It's so fun. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do because we're trying to reach this channel up to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. And yo, we are like halfway there. Like, thank you. I didn't even think we would, I would even get to we sorry that we would get to the halfway point so thank you guys for subscribing also you know share this with people and yo get ready for part three because honestly there needs to be another part i'm gonna try not to talk so much so it doesn't become a part four but yeah um i'll see y'all the next part which i might upload very soon after this one so yeah thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go bye